welcome back. It is Sunday the 2nd of November. It was one degrees last night, so it was next to freezing. So, what we're gonna do is this bed that I turned over when we first got here, as you can see, lots of seeds are appearing, which I expected would happen because all the weeds that were all the way up here had all gone to seed, so obviously I can't clear any of that without dropping the seeds. So now it's had time to all sprout. It's now time to hoe it all down. And then I've got some manure seeds that I'm gonna put on the entire bed for a couple of months while we get the buildings and the other structures up there and then that will suppress the weeds and also feed the soil once I uh, cut the manure down but that's the plan today and to get through some cardboard with some wood with the fire and if I manage to get that one done then I'm gonna move over here onto this bed and start to dig out big roots, brambles which are sprouting up everywhere, starting to flower again. There's quite a few brambles in here actually. But the main aim is to do this one bed first, then start onto this one. So let's get cracking. So that's one hour later. I've put a little border in just so the daughter knows when she comes down later. In fact, what I'm gonna do is wait for her to finish school. I'll bring her here. And uh, I've got the seeds all here ready to go. So I'll do the first sowings with some sums, I think, little summer. Pick her up from school and we'll plant them in. So what I need to do now is have a well-earned cup of tea and get starting on that. I've had a fire as well, burnt all the weeds, but these are the fresh weeds now that I've just cleared out and that chicken wire, which is over there. You can see that. No. So yeah, I'm gonna have me brew and get cracking on the next part of the plot. The other half, hopefully I can get that dug over today. Well, I'm not so much digging it over, I'm getting the main roots out. The big bran brambles and the perennial weeds, which are these ones. Oh, starting to come back again, look. Back to life. This one's even got the green growth coming back as well so I think it'll do it well to grow the manure the manure grows to about 60 60 to 80 centimeters so it will suppress these weeds I'll get this hacked away and looking like that hopefully by the end of today but we shall see I have three hours until I need to go home and get ready to get the daughter from school. So, wish me luck. Right, okay. So, it has just gone two o'clock. I've just packed the car. And, yeah, not been too bad. Obviously not got to where I wanted to, but I keep underestimating gardening. It is uh, a lot harder work than what you think. So I've managed to do this so far. All the wood that was over here, I've now put over there and around all along here. Basically out of the way of that where I've dug so far and got the brambles out. There's just loads of them in there. Big thick long roots. 
tough going. But something's been achieved. Just pile after pile of cooch grass. Just look at it. Massive chunks of it. Another pile over there. Another pile there. Another pile behind the bricks. Another pile there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven piles. And we're probably just five apes of the bed done. So, not bad. But it's time to get cleaned up. Go get the wonderful daughter and video our reactions to see what we've done so far. The guy, Martin, who's took this over now owns the entire the entire square and he's been uh, hacking away at this because this fence was originally down but he's got some good soil there he's been cleaning the weeds out as he goes along he's got a raised bed here he's got one where the fire bin is and he's got another one there and he's gonna make a pond here at some point he says but yeah that's the plot thus far. Go get the daughter and get some uh, green manure planted in here. Ready for January, February time. To hopefully cut half of it down, put it into the compost bins ready for the end of the season. And then with the other half, it'll just be getting covered up with cardboard and manure on top to then plant straight into it that's it for now and i will see you later bye so we've just got the wonderful daughter say hi hey. hey. <laughs> let me walk backwards <laughs> do you want to open the gate yeah good girl good girl Yes, I've got the bananas and the seeds. Bananas go with your wellies. What do you think so far then? You don't even know what's been done, do you? <laughs> hmm. It looks the same. How does it look the same? Just keep walking then. Just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep walking. Oh, that looks like a rabbit's been in there. <laughs> Does it still look the same? No, this don't. Why? This was not here before. Yeah. Oh. So that's new. Yeah, and that... That's not new. But you've not been for about a week or two, so that was all grown weeds again, so I had to dig that one over again. Oh. And then I went on to this one. And dug this one over, had a little bonfire, which you've seen from school, mm. and now it's time to plant the seeds into the ground and then reap. We have a surprise because they're all mixed up. Yeah, we, we got loads of different varieties and then we mixed them all up. Lots of different seeds. So one might be grown. Uh, Thingy and Bob, and another one might be going to Thingy and Bob, and <laughs> different two things of Bob's. Yeah, the mind of a child. Afternoon. So, today we've come down to the plot, and we have a little bit busy. Um, so, I'll show you what we've done. We have created a base for the shed. Not the best, but um, we're literally only planning on keeping the shed for probably a year. Um, it's been kindly gifted to us by our neighbours, so they're getting rid of it. And Kirk has started on the second bed. Um, again, full of brambles and stinging nettles. Um, just trying to get rid of all those so that we can then um, start on the no dig method. Although we are digging, 
which is quite funny. Um, yesterday he was down here with the daughter and um, he seeded all this area with green manure. Plan is to try over the winter to grow the green manure and then come, uh, we're going to come back and hoe it all over, um, basically make the ground fertile. Um, so far, what I thought I should mention is the fact that the um, it's only cost us, is it £9? Pound? £9.40 and that's for four packets of four packets of manure seeds so far. Yeah, so it's cost us that much. Um, and the rest of it we've actually sourced for free. So today we went up to a kind lady and gentleman who have kindly donated us this pipe in and everything else we've asked um like for for instance the pallets um the ladder and the wood um things which we've bought from home like the fire pit um and yeah the manure bins if that's what you call them um we've actually um, managed to source ourselves uh, they were here when we got here basically um yeah so then the breeze blocks and things we've we've actually got from our neighbors um so yeah we've done quite well in the sense of like trying to keep the cost down low and uh like you know grow from scratch so see how we get on so this is what we've achieved i would say in about i want to say in about two weeks it's been about three weeks since we've had the whole plot but we've had such bad weather over the past week that we've pretty much missed a week um because we literally could not do anything within that week oh yeah and i came down yesterday which was tuesday not sunday yes yes I quite funny go to school on no she doesn't go to sunday school so yeah so this is tree roots out now as well in the corner oh yeah we should mention that so um kirk and martin today have dug up the tree root so the path is which will be a path eventually is slowly extending um with the more and more cardboard that we get um and they've dug out the tree root here and as you can see there's still remnants of it intertwined sort of balancing itself in between the chicken wire on ours and Martin's side um, and we kept the plum tree hoping to have a harvest from it next next year so I think that's it for today I think Kat's going to carry on working on the plot and I'm going to go and fetch summer so yeah bye for now so that's the end of Wednesday 3rd of November I think um, all the stuff's packed away now and this is the end result of today so let's walk around this way so the neighbours have been working on the pile there. I've helped them with, whoa. I've helped them with, there was a tree stump here. I don't know if you remember. They had a tree stump there, there, and I think they had two actually, and I had one, yeah, that was the three. So we've dug that all up. And I realize there's holes under the fence and through the fence. Uh, been trying to tackle this because it was all entwined in the netting and they've kindly given me some cardboard to finish off my path I now have a path half complete just need to get some chipwood to put on top and that's done I uh, spoke about this bed in the video before that one's done uh, I've picked all the piles of uh, weeds roots up there's the path going through straight to the shed door
Ooh, it needs to be a bit there but my OCD will answer that probably at a later date so this bed now is all bramble free we think there's still going to be stuff in there I'll probably see stuff now now I'm walking around at a different angle uh, but that is now done I was going to plant the seeds but there was in the other car and she's gone pick the daughter up and get the dinner on kindly left me here to carry on with it so that's that now my plan is to just have the wheelbarrow access just round the edge which will be covered in cardboard all the way and chip wood on top and that's just needs the seeds putting in there now so that's task for tomorrow morning uh, these were in the way with the wheelbarrow going up and down up and down so I've took that out and I'm gonna rejig my plan actually because I need a bit wider to walk in between my beds because my beds aren't just gonna be one and two they're all gonna be broken down into I'll have my bigger beds at that end smaller beds this end maybe four there four there three three something like that I'll sit and ponder over that over the coming nights uh, let's go left so this has just been potting along to the end now finally uh, the bins are pretty much the same compost bins coming on quite nicely it's looking very nice oh yeah something else to mention this was free on uh, Facebook market picked it up Put it in the car got back home obviously had a flat tire first thing you do is pump it up uh, went down within a minute so last night she offered to cook dinner i sorted out the puncture on it two punctures both sorted and it's done me proud today very proud part of the team my new wheel uh we picked up some of this today from a lovely couple uh, probably more than we need but if we do take on that plot that'll be perfect swiftly moving on this way and car has been on this today this is only temporary this will be here for six months to a year um, due to the fact of that this person has said that they're leaving in December and we're due to take that on so we're going to see what happens to this um, but yeah if we do get that then I'll leave Cara over on that side to do what she needs to do with the building wise whilst I get rid of all of that overgrown mess even though now I've cleared all this mess I'm going to have to do the same on that side but if it was easy, we'd all do it. And that's the end of the day. That's how it stands. Looking very barren compared to three weeks ago when it was like up here. My daughter was standing just here actually. I was standing there taking a photo and you could just see a hand in the air waving. So. That's it for today, I'll catch you guys tomorrow.